you know, if I remember rightly, I now actually kind of relate to Toma at this very moment. The last we saw of him, he was being blasted in a large fireball of ozone and hate, and I managed to spill a newly made cup of tea all over my hand and that kind of hurt. Obviously not quite third degree burn bad, but still, unless his magical uh, annulling properties of his right hand also include fire, how's he getting out of this one? Or maybe the hospital that he keeps going back to, you know, where he had his arm reattached, etc. They can patch him up once again. Maybe he should get a loyalty card or something. Nine life-threatening injuries and the tenth one's free. But ultimately this is down to saving the clones and... Um, I'm hoping he succeeds. It's not looking very bright though. Let's hope for the best. Then everything that they know about this experiment and making Accelerator even better is going to be at least halted for the time being until they figure out what's going on. And despite this originally focusing on Index and her being a titular character, I haven't really done much since the first arc with the character. But I guess trying to introduce everyone else as well, getting a little bit of world building. We haven't... What is with the Roomba riding maid character thing there? But we haven't seen the samurai girl either. She showed up to say, Index is my friend. Uh, that's basically all she's done. I wonder if this show is going to try and make a sympathetic antagonist that you end up actually feeling somewhat bad for Accelerator. And does his power of changing vectors actually have limitations? Homemade explosives is uh, a dirty subject. Someone was actually caught, I think, like 15 years ago because they were buying bulk, uh, I think, like baby milk powder. Well, the first one that would actually challenged him. Is his, haha, you can't do shit, going to change? Should Tom actually get close? Oh, 
you approaching me? Stop making... Stop making me have to exert any effort. And that there is all you need to know. He can actually do something against him. Finally, a worthy opponent. <laughs> All he's got to do is keep out of his arm's reach and keep laying on the force. It's a shame that he can't use his left hand because it would be nice to get a few jabs in as well. Because there is a recovery time after each punch. It must be quite humbling to taste defeat for once, or seeming defeat. Fighting dirty and the like. It's good that Accelerator threw him into the air so we can get that falling punch. I'm not exactly sure you're going to get through to him like this, but keep speaking your ideals. Oh, what was that laugh? He's speaking the language of gods. Oh, uh, okay. And what was that? Well, he doesn't have the ability to harness the elements themselves. It's more just... You know, he's got quite a limited range. Yep. If you've knocked him unconscious, at the least, you're not really going to get much of a rebuttal from him. That's... Mm -hmm, the original. He knows what would happen should she fire. If he punches him at the same time that she does that railgun thing, would that be an opportunity? Why is Accelerator and everything that we've learned about him so far allowing them to have this little conversation? Or does he need time to actually process this? compressed air. I'm... It's nice to see conservation of energy is a, a big thing of this world.
if if Toma manages to eradicate this kind of plasma ball and scientists and whatnot see this they're going to be very intrigued In a world like this, having a negation would be something that every military f facility would really like to get their whole hands on. It's good that the cat let her know of uh, her location. The power of friendship. Like looking in a weird expressionless mirror. <laughs> An interesting idea that they came up with. But if there are things you you can't predict or factors that you haven't taken account of, everything is going to be thrown out of whack. I'm actually no, I was slightly off put by him thinking, "Ah, oh, this is what they've done." But in a world where it is all based on science. Yeah, you would have these ad hoc rationalizations and understanding of what people are actually trying to do in the moment. Has he completely forgotten about Toma? In this city. So is there other cities with different scalings? It's like the relationship between the uh, Batman and the Joker. At least for Accelerator's point of view. Having an, an enemy worthy of him. Ow. <laughs> As someone who has done boxing and various training, being punched in the face is not fun. Also, the, his wrist would probably hurt. But yeah, the weakest may, may <laughs> laying out accelerator, accelerator like that. It might not make him think about what his plans and his way of life, but it would uh, um, comforting. Yes, this is entirely a CG game. And she did nothing to stop him. <laughs> oh, 
I'm not sure that kind of defense would stand up in court. Plus, it's not really a defense. <laughs> oh, okay. So, why... It's fine, then. I guess since she does have some sort of, you know, sensing electronic uh, electricity, so... <laughs> You're a prat. <laughs> I think I agree. Oh no. And... No, so we was actually successful in that mo- in that e event. But it will be resurrected soon enough once they come up with some failsafes. She didn't sustain any injuries, as far as I saw. Do they have a very limited lifespan? Just another setback on the long list of fuck yous that he's had to go through. Cool, it's a very... Get the levels wrong again and what happens? Does she have the time to wait here? Science is a miraculous thing. It might. But in the case of failure, she didn't want to give any confirmations. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you should start paying rent. Or at least decorate it to his liking since he's the one staying there all the time. Slightly relaxing in his own respect. Although I am very glad I don't have to put up with the sound of cicadas. But he is now! Okay. Well, at least give him a minute to see what it is first before you tell him. He's lucky to be getting every anything. Yeah, but he's already set up all those flags with the other Misaka, so... He can't be trying it with too many. So, she's not informed or told of their movements or actions. That bed's close to the window now.
Yeah, and a lot of them wouldn't have died either, so I'm not sure this route is comforting. That is a number that you can't really just get over. So are you saying that it's okay that suffering happens because in the first place they're alive and that's what matters? Hmm. I can somewhat see where it's coming from, but it doesn't alleviate everything that's happened. Who's his next visitor? It's either going to be... Oh, okay then. Oh, looks like I... My question was answered. A, 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 a massive pain in his... Get off the bed. Can he please leave the hospital without extra bite wounds? Well, and she wasn't phoned or anything to let him know let her know that he was here yeah I suppose but is there much that could have been helped here because in the end getting more people involved with accelerator probably isn't for the best Ooh, what is this music? <laughs> she has a complex. So it's just going through the lives of the characters that were spared and saved in this moment. See, everything can be solved with a cat. I think... It's partly because I don't entirely understand the language, but the fact that like characters like um, Ononoki from Monogatari, the Misaka clone from this, who adds the... Um, the endings on the sentence, uh, says Misaka with a pained expression. If it was in English, that would just be so annoying. <laughs> Well, I, I said English. In a language that I properly understood and was fluent in. How about that? But since the experiment has now been put on hold, hopefully they find something else to do and not just throw lives into the meat grinder. Um, okay. Where would we be without the obligatory beach sequence? In a much, much more dull place.
Things like sporting events and talent shows must be very difficult to judge in this world. But are the use of uh, abilities banned or encouraged? And I'm glad that this show actually somewhat answered that issue, which I didn't actually think about until it was brought up. But if it was all these clones made from her DNA sequence, but they're all roughly a about the same age as her. How? It's not like they come out of the machine at 17 years old. Oh, it's just accelerated growth through uh, excess hormones and whatnot. Which also means our lifespan is... Well, don't book any plans for next week. But since Accelerator has now been beaten, and we haven't seen anything from him now, was he also taken to a hospital? Was he picked up by the scientists behind the experiments? Is he going to come back and try to f f fulfill some revenge and prove that he is actually in incredibly suited to be the strongest and Toma's victory there was just sheer... Accelerator's just not thinking that anyone could do damage to him, so he, he wasn't prepared. Luckily, though, you don't have to wait too long. In fact, by the time you're seeing this, the next episode should already be out. So if you want to, you can stick around till the end. There should be a little video tab and go on to the next one. Or check out my channel. But if you enjoyed that episode, up there. But if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like and a comment down below. It helps me in many ways. And if you want to keep it going for as long as possible, or at least find this somewhat I was gonna say entertaining, but at least staving off the boredom about that. Subscribe as well. But for the meantime, you may want to get yourself some rest. So I can see you in the next one. My patrons are like those mad scientists forcing the creation of something potentially evil that would be my channel. If you want to help send the world on a potentially darker path, then consider joining onto my Patreon as well. You can join into the ranks of Sal, Raywin, Electric Ant, Denim at 1997, Shiwan, Jennifer Rojas, Mecha, Stinsfire, Big Boy, Dark Show, 7899, and everyone else.